Stanford is turning internet cables into one big quake sensor. Awesome science coming out of Stanford this month may change earthquake detection as we know it. Stanford researchers are using miles of optical fiber cable installed beneath their university campus in a figure eight shape to observe earthquakes. They used laser interrogators from company OptiSense to record seismic activity on the cables. The technology could one day be used by civil engineers to design buildings more capable of withstanding earthquakes. And that, Tomo sapiens, at least for earthquake-prone California, is awesome news. They're everywhere. This robot water snake hunts pollution on autopilot. Meet Lake Geneva's newest swimmer, the EnviroBot, an autonomous pollution hunter. Gulp. The EnviroBot is four feet long and comprises several special purpose modules that constitute its eel-like design. The purpose of these modules are twofold. First, each has a small electric motor that lets the robot swim like a water snake. Secondly, each segment has a unique sensor for gathering a variety of data. For example, biological sensors contain tiny organisms or bacteria that react to the presence of pollutive toxins. Meanwhile, electrical sensors can track water temperature and chemical sensors test water acidity. More modules can be added as needed. The robot can swim on a route or make its own way through a body of water to find the source of pollution. And while it's very cool, uh, we're not exactly sure we'd want it swimming beside us. Sensor can track who drives in and out of your neighborhood. Ever had your home broken into or your bike stolen? Having to deal with stolen property can definitely affect one's sense of security. But startup tech company Flock unveiled a device this week that might be able to provide you some assistance with tracking down those burglars. Currently installed for testing in seven neighborhoods around Atlanta, the sensor device tracks vehicles that enter and pass through the area. Snapshots of all vehicle license plates are taken upon entering and exiting a neighborhood, with plate numbers recorded and stored. So far, the sensor has led to one theft conviction. The device captured images and the plate number of a man stealing a road bike from a property in a flock-monitored neighborhood. The BBC reports that future versions of the technology will aim to include facial recognition features. Flock and its new sensor are backed by startup incubator Y Combinator, known for having funded Reddit, Dropbox, and Airbnb. Following the current trial period, the technology will soon be available to homes for $50 per year. Big Boss is watching. You may not know it, but your company could be keeping tabs on you, planting sensors in the lights, under your desk, or even in your badge. Companies who use such devices claim the goal is less about allowing employers to snoop on workers and more about efficiency and practicality. Sensors are often embedded in inconspicuous places like light fixtures. They detect motion and can track employees' behavior patterns, allowing a back-end system to adjust lighting and temperature accordingly, and thus save on energy. U.S. employers are legally allowed to monitor the workplace, so long as they exclude the bathroom. And some bosses are fully utilizing that right. Employees at one company have sensors in their badges equipped with microphone and GPS to track physical and verbal interaction in the office. Soon, colleagues and higher-ups could forego emails and messaging, and instead use locators embedded in badges paired with an app to track specific individuals. On the bright side, data collected from these devices are anonymized. This means individual employees won't leave an electronic trail that would allow employers to eavesdrop. But that's what every company that tracks your data says. Do you trust them? This robot pillow could be the key to a good night's sleep. A group of robotics and engineering students from the Netherlands have created a robot pillow, which they say improves sleep quality. The robot pillow, dubbed Somnox, is equipped with multiple high sensitivity sensors and an artificial intelligence algorithm. The pillow can interpret whether the user is awake or in a deep sleep. The robot then uses the data to create a breathing rhythm that can induce the user to sleep within minutes. In the morning, the pillow emits a gradually increasing light to wake the user up. Somnox is still in the prototype phase, and it is not yet known when it will be available to buy. San Diego could become the smartest city in the U.S. San Diego is partnering with General Electric to upgrade the city's streetlights into a digital network that can optimize traffic and enhance public safety. 
More than 3,000 streetlights in San Diego will be equipped with real-time anonymous sensors, cameras, and microphones. The streetlights will be connected to form an IoT network. The streetlights can measure air quality, locate vacant parking spaces, monitor traffic flow of vehicles and pedestrians, as well as detect gun violence. The city will also replace 14,000 streetlights with technology that allows them to dim or brighten manually or automatically, according to natural light conditions. The installation will begin this summer with the potential for 3,000 more sensors to be added in the future.